EC missions, all of them, differ from other game modes because of their duration, session time, respawns and game room, lobby, mechanics. The extended duration of the mission and low concentration of gameplay actions results in a large reward for each individual action. The system of multiple respawns is implemented through a cost for each flyout and not vehicle loss. Both of these points make the economy system noticeably more difficult to set up and understand for players a player when respawning in a vehicle initially has a shortage of game currency and then has to do without reward for a lengthy period in search of a suitable target. At the same time, game room slash lobby mechanics can be used by dishonest players to create rigged battles where they can repeatedly destroy the same cooperating enemy and as the actual destruction of that enemy is a fairly infrequent event in EC, the reward for it is set high. To solve this issue, we are considering options to simplify the economy system in EC missions by adding a fixed amount of SL and RP per time period when reaching a specific event in the mission. Not taking into account time on the airfield a more detailed description will be published separately, instead of a reward for each individual action. However, the bonus reward for winning a mission, and the half reward for returning to an airfield would remain unchanged. The average level of reward over time in switching to the new system would remain unchanged, and will correspond to reward received by players in other game modes. These proposed changes are intended to help honest players to choose mission objectives based on personal interest rather than possible profit. It should negate the opportunity for dishonest players to use this game mode for their own selfish purposes. Don't hesitate to leave your feedback. I will try to remain as brief as possible. With regards to EC the most prominent one that comes to mind is Helicopter, as it is the most played for its effective research for helicopters as people cannot always have an increased presence in ground forces with these vehicles. Helicopters are broken into two groups 1. Those that have the ability to fight other helicopters and 2. Those that have not the ability to fight other helicopters. Now the reason ridiculous acts of rigged combat take place is that those who do not have the capable helicopters who want to progress have to provide an avenue for which they can grind upgrades and the next helicopter. Normal ground targets do not suffice and player kills are very much the only way to make gains. The only gain from taking on special ground targets is ticket depletion, which will only benefit those who win and had a high score with regards to killing players. Now only the premium and the odd lot of top-tier helicopters that are present are more of the capable helicopters with the ability to kill other helicopters in a sustainable manner will be the only group to profit from this. Nations like France, Britain, Japan, Germany, and USSR, figure 1 to 5, where their reserve helicopters are almost completely incapable of an air-to-air -air fight that is already taking place and will be made increasingly worse by the new system. The issue with this is it prevents any interest in playing in the game mode, an ill mistake that could easily punish the few that regularly attempt to grind this way. Additionally this measure will drive away many who try out the EC game mode for branching out their interests. Team gameplay we all believe in, no doubt about it. Now I am not about to criticize this idea without providing solutions myself. Increasing the value of ground units encouraging this for other helicopters, who are optimized for such an attack mode will gain from this and create an ecosystem such as in normal air battles. The example being attackers and bombers will engage ground targets at their own gain and risk from fighters, such an ecosystem should base itself in helicopter EC, maps like city where a close quarters fight can be generated and provide long distance cover from air to air superiority helicopters should be increased. Rank slash BR protection should be in place, helicopters like the reserve as previously mentioned should be protected from the, the high tier and high BR premiums. This protection system in its current extent is present, but in a poor manner, figure 6, premium high tier helicopters are unaffected by this as they have a rank reduction, figure 7. To prevent the image that they are buying their way to the top. VR should be heavily considered as it paints the insulting picture that an 8.0 will always have the encounter of a 10.3 helicopter guaranteed. To be brief about my points above. 
VAD system only rewards air-to-air -air capable helicopters. Ecosystem for reserve and afflicted helicopters needs formation. Rank protections extended to the first rank of helicopters. I am open to fine-tune of these thoughts, all ideas need refining. As to the original idea above from Weicha, no offense, I am 100% against it. Every molecule in my body disagrees with it for what I had to endure and witness playing it. Made by Official007 Support my work on WT Live and on YouTube Official007 YouTube. Figures for reference to be added and referenced from above.